Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am going to be taking us around Costco. So when I went to Costco on Instagram, I don't know, last week, I got quite a few DMs from people being like, oh my God, please do a haul. But I didn't really film anything and I saw that afterwards. So I figured oh, if that's something people are interested in, then I'll show you guys around Costco in Taiwan. The only real Costco experience I've ever had is in Japan because I used to go often. I went a few times in Canada with my mom when I visited her, but it was never to shop around. It was just to like, go in and get one thing that she wanted and go. So some things that I mentioned, maybe like, oh, we didn't have this in Japan. You guys might have in Canada or the United States or wherever it is that you're from, where there's a Costco, just we didn't have it in Japan. So bear with me. If you guys have items available to you, definitely let me know down in the comment section because I always like to see how Costco kind of caters to the areas that they're in, as well as I know Costco sometimes carries like local brands. So let's go. All right, we have arrived. Let's make our way inside. It's two stories here. As I mentioned, this Costco has two levels and the top floor is basically clothing, electronics, and home goods. Maybe I should get a rice cooker. Not today, but... And this is more like a Tommy style rice cooker so you can steam things inside as well. I don't know which one I should get. The bottom floor of this Costco is where a lot of the groceries are. I found the produce section and the bakery section looks the exact same as what it did in Japan. What do you guys think? Into the fridge we go. So some of the produce is actually different. For example, This is the vegetable I absolutely love. This is here in Taiwan. As well as water spinach, that's what it says. This is available. Also, this is here, organic white jelly ear, which it looks like this. I don't know if you guys have ever eaten this vegetable before. Is it in the mushroom family? I wonder. You can get a whole yellow watermelon for about $5 Canadian. 135 NT. And these look really good. Red bean mochi pastry. <sighs> uh, hmm. Even the cook section's a little bit different. This is new. The hot pot one. This one is so good. You can get the mini magnums here, the ice cream as well as Hokkaido ice vanilla ice cream bar here. Interesting, Godiva. I'm not sure. Mackey's of Scotland, I've never heard of that. This looks good. Hagendas and then Tiramisu. I've never seen this in Japan. You can get freeze dried durian. Durian, I don't know if I'm saying that right. things here. I want to say thank you and hello to the viewer who stopped me at Costco and um, said hi. Also gave me a lot of great advice, um, especially on a bus app here for the city. So thank you so much. I'm still learning as I go here, so advice is always welcome. So what I got is nothing out of the ordinary, I guess. Um, yeah. I got some of this kind of lettuce because I want to make bulgogi one day and wrap it in this lettuce. I also decided to try the Costco brand of kettle crinkle cut Himalayan salt potato chips. It's massive. It's like the size of my torso. I got my favorite vegetable here. I got a whole case of snap peas because I like to just eat them as is. I mean, I do steam them sometimes to eat with like food, but I could just eat it as it is. And then I got my variety pack of cheese that has tomato and olive, orange ginger, basil, and chipotle. The chipotle cheese is like amazing. And then I got these sausages. These are my husband's favorite. They're really good. They're high in calorie, but they're very delicious. The last thing I got is this gigantic frozen bag of Japanese karage, the fried chicken. I've never seen this at Costco before. So, I mean in Taiwan, so maybe it's a new item. I'm not really sure, but yeah. 
time to put everything away. Hey everyone, it is the next day and I'm going to be making my way to Ikea or Ikea. There is an Ikea shop here in Shinju, but it's a pickup center. So I'm pretty sure that means you order online and they can deliver it to there. I want to actually see the things that I'm going to be buying because actually I think I'm going to try and purchase a sofa. If not today, then in the future online, but I want to actually look at the sofas not just look at them online because I don't really know how the return policies work here and just a lot of hassle that I can avoid if I go into the shop and look at them. So I'm going to head there now. Let's go. Ikea. Okay, so clearly I made it. Gotta go through the maze of Ikea and find what I want. So fuzz. Hmm. I know I want a white one. Yeah. If I could imagine a dream kitchen, it would kind of look like this. Uh. These new prints are quite beautiful, but I don't have anything pink in my house. All right, I'm home now. You might hear him meow in the background. That's because he wants dinner. We feed him at 6 or 6 30. He just loves food so mm, it's not like we don't feed him enough. Sometimes when cats are strays from before they go crazy with food even though you feed them enough they just they always want more and like for him if he hears like a chip bag or any kind of bag crinkle he's like oh my god he like runs around the corner. There he is there grooming himself. It's strawberry season right now in Taiwan, so I ended up getting uh, strawberry daifuku, which is uh, mochi with red bean inside. Benny, I hear you. Yes. All right, a few things I got from Ikea. I got this little mini dishwashing rack because I don't always wanna have to run my dishwasher, especially if there's you know just a little bit of dishes. I should be able to do them by hand, so I got this. I got some more measuring cups. I finally got my hands on a muffin tray, so um, I'm gonna try to make the Oreo cheesecake again, but in the cupcake form. I got this little white throw blanket because the cat loves blankets and I feel like I can never have enough. And then I got this gigantic wok that I'm gonna wash and use tonight. This divider to go into my cabinet to you know help separate all the cutting boards. This is essentially the same thing, just metal, and it's for pots and pans, mostly frying pans, I think, and lids. The problem is my drawer won't close. <laughs> oh, is this a fail? Is this a freaking fail? My drawers won't close! <gasps> this is our spare room here. There's no prints that I like, but I went ahead and got a picture frame, so I can put it here. I don't know if you guys ever seen this room before. It has all of this storage space here, as well as over here. All right, today's bulgogi is brought to you by Costco. I love these sauces, very good. Usually I marinate the meat, um, so if you could do that ahead of time like a day before, it makes it so much better. So I have kimchi, rice, boiled egg, green onion pancake, bulgogi, and then I have some lettuce because I'm gonna wrap the bulgogi. Because I went to the HSR, the highest food grill today, they have the Mr. Donuts in the station, so I figured I would get some of the Sakura Donuts, even though I've already had them, I've already tasted them, and I tasted them on Instagram, but I didn't really show them on YouTube, and they're so beautiful. Also, like, how cute is this packaging right now? I don't know if these are, like, popular characters or not, 
This has to be my favorite looking sakura donut. Look how beautiful it is. There's a dried sakura on top. This one was pretty delicious. Even the donut itself is tinted pink. This one is actually my favorite one. It has a little filling inside and it's not quite as fluffy as a pondering, which is kind of like a mochi texture. This is more like thick cake and you can tell by looking at the donut. And then there's this one, which the taste is all right. It has more of the pondering kind of fluffiness with a little filling inside. It has some dried crushed, I don't know, cherry or sakura, I don't really know. I will say that the cherry blossom series at Mr. Donuts, I don't feel like tastes so much like flowers. It tastes like cherry. And even in Japan, a lot of the sakura flavored things, they always end up tasting a little bit like cherry, just like a subtle cherry taste, not so, not so floral, not so much floral. I mean, I don't mind. I like cherries, so. All right, I'm all ready to go. I'm going to go to Chinese class. I might pop into big city after class just for a few things because um, I have like a mini travel around my area day tomorrow planned, so. Okay. I have this sweater. They also have it in white and like a steel gray now. I made it to the H&M fitting room. I have a few things here to try on. Some jeans. Jeans are always hit or miss for me. And then look how cute these bodysuits are. Okay, let's tighten the arms as always and then loosen the body. This is a no. Bodysuit, also a no. It doesn't fit right. I like these jeans. They fit nice. Nice everywhere. But this pleat, it's just, it ain't for me. <laughs> it's not for me. The pleat ruins it. They're comfortable though. All right, this is like a regular shirt dress, no sleeves. It's quite oversized. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Mm. This dress is super sweet, super cute. Like if I was going to a garden party or something, which I don't think I'm going to a garden party anytime soon. I am going to head home now. I feel like, an unsuccessful shopping trip. Yeah, you can see when you enter, there's like a screen that reads your temperature to make sure you don't have a fever, as well as a vending machine for masks if you want to buy one. Like if you don't have one, because you have to wear one inside the mall. Okay, you can see the finished product. My hoikoro and my veggie and my egg and some rice. <sighs> All right, I'm just getting ready for bed here. I cannot wait to get my hair done again. I messed up my appointments, so that's why I have such big roots. I'm hoping to get some traveling in this month. Um, I'm really trying to go to the Penghu Fireworks Festival, but last year it was delayed. I don't know about this year. I keep trying to like search for stuff for this year, but it's difficult to find in English. So if anyone has information about the Penghu Fireworks Festival this year, let me know in the comment section. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, support me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.